live to Sky 13 and that massive traffic jam along the North Freeway this morning. This is caused by a couple of things. First, there was a crash in the inbound lanes, and you can see the three lanes are still blocked, and that has caused a massive backup all the way from Tidwell. Now, again, these are the inbound lanes. This is a situation we haven't seen in quite a while, Sam. And yeah, this is all happening while Mattress Mac is giving away free face masks until 9 a.m. There's a huge line, and ABC 13 reporter Charlie Etsidi is there on the ground this morning. Charlie? Yes, Samika's cars have been streaming through here all morning long. This all got started at 5 o'clock this morning, but there are still plenty of masks left. Take a look at this table. All of these masks are going to be handed out today. They barely put a dent in this huge pile. And, of course, we have those nice volunteers out there helping to move everybody along as quickly as possible. And you mentioned that traffic. Let's go up to Sky Eye right now to take a look at those long lines to get into the parking lot of gallery furniture here off the North Freeway. There are cars everywhere. Everywhere, This gives you a good idea of just how many people need these masks. Now, again, in total, they have 15,000 ready to go and will be handing them out until 9 o'clock this morning or until they completely run out. This is first come, first serve, so be sure to get out here. And we actually spoke to Mac a short time ago. He was out here handing out some masks, and he says he's doing his part to get Houston and the state of Texas back on its feet. The governor's emphasizing safety, 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 as certainly well he should. But he's also emphasizing, hey, we got to get these people back to work, back on a payroll. So uh, because it's so good for your mental health, it's good for your pocketbook. You got to pay your car note, you got to pay your house note, you got to feed the kids. So we got to get people back to work. So safety and employment is the two things we're trying to focus on. All right, and we have Mattress Mac back out here again. He's putting on those gloves. He's getting ready to help hand out more masks out here again. 15,000 going to be handed out for several more hours until 9 o'clock this morning. So get out here and get in line if you need a mask. From Gallery Furniture, Charlie at City, ABC 13, Eyewitness News. Thanks, Charlie. Today, retail stores across the state reopen. If you want to shop, though, you cannot go inside. ABC 13 reporter Jeff Ealing is at Memorial City Mall to tell us about curbside shopping. Jeff? Good morning to you, Samika. Yeah, how about reopening Texas with a little retail therapy? That's the idea. 14 stores here in and around the Memorial City Mall area are going to be participating in this curbside retail to go plan. Customers cannot go into the stores, as you said, but you do have some options. You can use a retailer's website to pick out and pay for the goods and then select the option for store pickup. Then you come to the store and your purchases will be brought to your vehicle or you can phone call the store directly, place an order over the phone, and pay for it over the phone with an employee. And then you'll get an email or a set time to come and pick up your items. You'll drive to the store, and the things will be brought to your car. Now, some stores are using on-site lockers to put the items in, and then you'll go get those items yourself. Items will be placed in either your trunk or your back seat. The whole idea here is to limit contact between employees and customers. Retailers say they are ready for this. Reporting live, Jeff Ealing, ABC 13, Eyewitness News. And I'm Catherine Whaley with that retail to go now in effect today. Expect to see more traffic around those shopping malls and retail centers. Now at Memorial City Mall where Jeff was reporting. Keep in mind you might see some extra traffic there on the north side of the mall near I-10 where the designated pickup area is. So if you are picking up items, just go to the designated location, that parking lot there on the north side, and contact the store when you arrive. Give them your parking space number and a representative from that store will bring your items out to your car. Put them in your bag seat or trunk and then you are good to go. Of course, those procedures vary according to location and shopping mall and we do have a full list online at ABC13.com. Thanks, Catherine. All right, to that breaking news about a very violent night in the city of Houston. Seven people shot in all at four different scenes, as you see on the map. The worst shooting was an ambush at an apartment at Warden Calhoun. Four people shot, three of them died. Our reporter Courtney Fisher has been getting updates and brings you a live report right now. Courtney? Tom, good morning. As police start the search for the killer or killers, family members of some of the victims have shown up, obviously very emotional, distraught, crying and begging for answers. I want to show you the apartment where this happened. It's a second story apartment, four people shot. 
where that second story window is up there. Three of those four are dead this morning, two men and a woman. One survivor in critical condition in the hospital. Police say inside the apartment they found drug paraphernalia. They're not sure at this point if there was a robbery or if the shooter was friends with the people he killed. At this point, no strong description of the killer or killers. If you have any information about what happened, call police. For now, reporting live, Courtney Fisher, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Courtney, now to Polk County, where crews will be out again today to clean up those areas devastated by Wednesday's deadly tornado in Polk County. Paradise Cove along Lake Livingston still without power this morning after that tornado roared through. And 75-year-old Charles Kinnick was one of those hit by the flying debris. A piece of ice, I think, come through that door. I mean, it busted the door, screen. I said, uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Yeah, that's when the hail came through the window and then the winds knocked him against the wall. Now he says he's determined to rebuild like most everybody else. More than 30 people were injured, three people killed, and those two were among the dead. Brooke Ivey and her boyfriend, Taylor Holbert, both employees of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. And at our website, abc13.com, you can watch video of the damage from Sky Drone 13, and we have mapped out the tornado's path. And you can help those in need today in Polk County. Here's our reporter, T.J. Parker, to explain. T.J.? Yeah, good morning, Tom. The student council and the business professionals of America here at Livingston High School are putting on a relief drive for faculty, staff, and their families who were affected by Wednesday's storm in a post on social media. The district says some of their staff were severely affected by Wednesday's tornado. They're accepting food, water, gift cards, clothes, and hygiene products. And, you know, a lot of people are in need. The Office of Emergency Management posted some helpful info on social media saying that food and water will be available at Garland Park in Unalaska starting at 8 this morning. The American Red Cross is also helping out in a big way to provide shelter for people whose homes were damaged or destroyed. We know more than 291 homes were damaged and 46 destroyed. Also, donations are being accepted at the Polk County Center of Hope, which plans to help people in the coming days and weeks. Back here at the high school, they're asking all clubs here to help out with this relief drive, which starts this morning at 9 and goes until 1130 that today, as well as tomorrow, same time. In Livingston, I'm TJ Parker, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right, meanwhile, weather for today. Everybody is going to be feeling the heat. This morning, though, we have definitely enjoyed the drop in humidity and these cooler conditions. Today, we're going to be pushing nearing record heat, 90 degrees for the Houston area. Meanwhile, air quality unhealthy for sensitive groups as we're seeing higher levels of ozone pollution through the afternoon. Some of you are going to want to limit that outdoor activity. Tree pollens high, weed and grass pollens in the moderate stage, 90s all across the board with the exception of our immediate coastline in the low to mid 80s. Now there is a hiccup in our forecast as that cool front makes its way towards southeast Texas this evening between 7 and 11 p.m. We could be dealing with some brief heavy rain uh, downpours across the northern sections of our viewing area and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder. Can't rule out that some of these strong storms could turn isolated severe. Uh, unfortunately, it is for the same areas that were hardest hit on Wednesday, but that front will be weakening once that front moves through, guys, it looks like we are in for some gorgeous weather as we get into the weekend. There you can see the Storm Prediction Center has highlighted areas from Conroe northward uh, with a moderate risk of seeing those strong to severe thunderstorms. So for the weekend, mornings are going to be fant fantastic, upper 50s to low 60s, and then afternoon highs in the low to mid 80s. Next chance for rain will hold off on introducing that chance until Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, and that's all the time we have for the news this morning. All right, thanks so much for joining us. You can always join us on ABC13.com as well as our free mobile app. Have a great day.